Let's talk about this pathetic outrage of all these statues, these Confederate statues coming down. Damn like savage, real life average. So I know I've touched on this before, but I decided to do a full video on it because I just internally I kept running my mouth about it um, and online I kept wanting to type paragraphs in response to people so I'm like, you know what, let me just get it out in a video. Make sure that you check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Adrian Expression where I'm even more annoying, <laughs> where I have an even wider range uh, to discuss all these topics and the patrons, the people who support have a direct say in what I talk about. So for anyone who has, you know, at least half a brain, right? You will see that, you know, if there was some figure that enslaved your motherfucking people or, you know, let, or we can even just bring it down smaller. Like say that there was some figure that everyone around you respected and adored, but they enslaved your family or they literally took a shit on your family, the family around. Of course you would have an issue when this person, this figure is being paraded around. This figure has statues at government building. This figure has statues being protected by, you know, state apparatus. Like obviously you would have an issue with that. And people who have an inkling of empathy, an inkling of you know, logic that works, uh, an inkling of understanding, they would be like, okay, I get it. Like, you know, we already know that history is has, has been written by the victors. And so when it comes to the voiceless and the people of you know, lower class, people have been dominated. They just have to fall in line with the bullshit propaganda that has been spewing out, right? But now that certain voices are more likely to be heard, the truth about some of these figures are being, they're being told on a wide, uh, you know, platform like social media or just by word of mouth. In general, people are starting to have a deeper understanding of what actually is going on. And that usually just comes because of access to that information that was previously whitewashed or just completely ignored in the past. Before this current state of events, people were also toppling Confederate statues and, you know, taking down Confederate flags and stuff. But I think to this, to the extent that it's happening now, it really wasn't done before, obviously. So yeah, I noticed when this started happening that people started to get really, really angry about it. And I believe um, that maybe, especially in the case of the elites, but I definitely believe that the reason why, because when you started talking to them about it, it's like, sis, how can you not <laughs> follow this clear logic? Slave masters get their statues thrown in rivers. Like, girl, we're taking that shit down. Like, it's not that hard to understand. But I think, like I said, especially the elites, when you have when you start having these conversations, it 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 only will clear a pathway for you to have those very same conversations about the people who hold office right now. You can have the very same conversation about the entire um, system that is the U.S. empire as a whole. Like, you can start to have those conversations. So I think they're trying to cover that fear with this, like, disingenuous thing about respecting the government's property and respecting the property and respecting history and shit. It's just like, no girl, you don't wanna, you don't want us to start bringing this shit up because it will unravel so much. And by that, I mean, just look at, simply look at what you were taught about Christopher Columbus in school. Look at how whitewashed these textbooks were. So when you start toppling, you know, figures when you start toppling these confederate generals that are supposed to be revered and it doesn't even have to be confederate these people running a government were so racist so when you start having these conversations you start toppling shit they're just like okay wait like they know that the real reason why they get angry is because you're not going to just stop at the confederates you're going to you're going to keep going you're going to try and uncover and try and expose us for the history of racism and oppression that we have allowed to flourish and continue allowed to flourish in this country. You're not just gonna stop at the statues. And before I talk more about that, I just think it is so weird that this is literally what the country has been built on and this is what a lot of motherfuckers love. Like, racism is what you love. So why is it that when it's uncovered and when it's brought to people's attention, you act like, oh no, I'm not racist. And you know, you try to gaslight people who bring it up, it's like, sis, just stand in it. Like, I don't under, I never understood that shit. It's like, why go through all the trouble of establishing all this racist shit and all these oppressive ass systems and then act like bigotry was not the basis for why I did this shit. It's like, please girl. <laughs> so yeah, like I said before, I think the real reason why a lot of people are afraid is because when you start talking about um, these statues, you have to start 
you have to eventually you're going to get to talking about the fact that like 12 of the u.s presidents own slaves and eight of them um, owned slaves while they were in office. Like you eventually have to start talking about that shit. You have to talk about how slaves built the White House. You have to talk about how they built other uh, government buildings. When you start toppling statues, you literally topple the whitewashing that has been done. The, the meticulous history warping whitewashing that was done. It's like the very same figures that a lot of people grew up admiring and the textbooks highlighted a lot of these figures that one version of history literally worships when you start talking these statues you also you're going to end up talking about how a lot of these figures were racist as hell and they were slavers like you're just gonna, and so when you start doing that that's when that's when it that's that's what really is scary to them that's you know statues they're not worried about no goddamn property america's not pressed about no coin about no property they're not pressed about no money like they got money they got property you know the reason why they send in people out uh sending police officers out you know in droves to protect these your statues is to make a statement it's like girl <laughs> we know that we know that y'all know y'all are starting to find out what actually happened and we know what went on but i just want you to know that's what they say i want you to know that your ass will never you will never topple this shit you could try as you may girl um you're still not that girl you're still a second class citizen you may be mad that he was a slaver but guess what he did it he dominated you bitches and that's why you're mad like that's <laughs> that's the whole point that's the whole point that they're making when you start having those conversations you have to start having them about what this country is actually built on right now you have to ha start having them about the modern precedents right you have to start having them about like recent life modern life and for example i'll just you know, read to you some things that modern presidents have said. Take Ronald Reagan, for example. We can start with Ronald. Um, you know, if you stood up in your class when you were a kid and you said, I think that Ronald Reagan was a horrible, horrible, evil person, people would have been, they would have recoiled in the same way that some people recoil when they say, I think we should tear down them statues, right? But Ronald Reagan was the one talking about welfare queen. I mean, I'm not even talking about these presidents' policies right now. I'm just talking about what they said. Right. So their policies completely some of their policies ravaged, you know, black communities, minority, minority communities, period. Ronald Reagan was Mr. He was the welfare queen with the guy who's talking about welfare queen. He said to see those those monkeys from those African countries, damn them, they're still uncomfortable wearing shoes. That was Ronald Reagan. So the very same people that they're admiring and they're loving and they're, oh my God, one of the presidents, what part of the system of America, the leader, they expect you to eat up their propaganda that they're serving you, girl. Let's take Dwight D. Eisenhower. He said to Supreme Court Justice Earl Warren, this is what he said, white southerners are not bad people <laughs> that sounds so familiar um all they are concerned about is to see that their sweet little girls are not required to sit in school alongside some big overgrown negroes that's what dwight said let's move on to lyndon b johnson he loved the n-word he was <laughs> he loved the n-word he called civil rights legislation uh nigger bills that's what he called them right and this is what he said when talking about appointing thurgood marshall to the supreme court he said to an aide in 1965 Son, when I appoint a nigger to the bench, I want everybody to know he's a nigger. <laughs> and these are the figures. These are the figureheads that they want us to respect moving right along. I know Richard Nixon had a whole lot going on, but the very fact that he was even in a position, uh, even in the Oval, talking like we're going to put more of these little Negro bastards on the welfare rolls at 2000 four hundred dollars a family i don't believe in it work work throw them off the rolls that's the key franklin roosevelt was talking about putting dangerous or undesirable aliens or citizens in concentration camps and of course trump has an unlimited list of quotes that you can pull from so these are just what the president said there's not even what they've done what the policies have done to the communities that a lot of people are trying to force feed propaganda to and expecting these people to just eat it up it's just like we're not even talking about the policies that these presidents have done it's, it's really not about a goddamn statue it's not about a statue it's about literally it, it's literally like them it's the establishment saying how dare you not 
eat up the lies. How dare you reject the truth that we fabricated for you to believe? How dare you? At the core of it, it's not about a statue. It's not about, oh, you, these mobs are tearing down stuff. Oh, what's next? The Statue of Liberty? It's like, please. <laughs> these people know exactly what they are doing. They knew exactly what they were doing uh, when they set all of this up. And so when it's t when the ideology or when the, the chains that were placed on your brains start to you know, they start to unravel, they start to be broken. Then they're just like, uh, what is going on? Our hold on your mind is, <laughs> what, what the hell is going on? I don't know, I just think we have to all keep that in mind when we, when you, when you see all these people going crazy and it's just like, cause me, I'm just like, it's just a statue girl, like, but you have to think deeper than that. If you really want to get to the reason why they're pissed, they're pissed because you did not sit, you did not shut the fuck up, you did not sit down and take it. That's it. They're pissed because they know that you'll eventually, you'll follow that line of racism and white supremacy right up to their goddamn granddaddies, right up to their goddamn selves. You'll follow that line of, of bigotry and hatred right up to the halls of government buildings in 2020. And to today, you'll find it there. And you have to think about it. A threat to a foundation is a threat to the very building. <laughs> That's it. And so as much as people admit, try to like, oh, well, we're not racist. You, you should not be uncomfortable. If you're not racist, if you're not an asshole, if you're not a bigot, you should not be uncomfortable with that racist foundation shaking. And if you're uncomfortable with that shit, that means that the only thing that you have, the only thing that you have built anything on was that racism, was that bigotry. And, and that's why y'all y'all are scared. It's not about no goddamn statue. It's not about one statue, a couple of statues coming down, a couple of Confederate statues. It's about the greater movement. It's about the greater mindset of people like, I'm not going to worship some racist slaver just because you think he built a cute economy. Okay, he built a cute economy off of whose backs? Or he fought in a war. Okay, he fought in a war because of what? It's like people want you to have this blind patriotism and ignore the racism and, and all the other ism that's involved with this shit. It's like, sorry, no can do. The truth is a lot of people in this country, this whole, this country as a whole, the system of it, cannot, does not want to look in the mirror, does not want to really sit down and address exactly what has happened, what is happening. And, and because of that, it's just things continue to fester. Instead of addressing that shit and being like, this shit was ridiculous, wrong, horrible. We need to see how we can reparate. We need to see how we can fix this shit. It's just sweep it under a rug and keep doing the same nasty shit to um, multiple populations who are vulnerable, right? So it's not, that's what I want to say. It's not about a statue. It's, it's about shaking up ideology and they can't take that shit. <laughs> they, they cannot, they are, they hate that shit. They cannot take it. Honey. But yeah, on that note, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully my point came across. I know I was probably all over the place. <laughs> I love you all so much. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Adrian Expression and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.